Hi guys, very good evening to all of you. Welcome to the video number 358. My name is Ajay and today we are going to learn uh, a technique which uh, one must know if, if you want to excel in the arrays, right? If you if you want to be phenomenal in Excel arrays, then you should know how to use the offset with a row. So this is the basic part of the, you know, the arrays. Recently we started talking about the arrays basics and this is going to be the part number two, right? So if you haven't uh, seen the video number one the part one then what you can do is or if you're watching the channel for the first time then these are the you know 43 different playlists which are created on excel excel vba access and access vba right uh, i have this channel uh, started this channel two years back guys and i have one motive that i want to help all the you know people uh, in 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 the country and outside the country whoever actually wants to be a master in excel excel vba and access and access VBA welcome to the channel and what you can do is you can scroll it down you would find all these different different playlists but right now because we are talking about the arrays got to go and check out this Excel arrays most powerful formulas in Excel right so there are a lot of videos here as you can see 13 videos we have got in what you need to do is you need to first watch this video number 334 where I talked about the understanding the RS basic and then of course afterwards you can go and check out this video. Right? So if you now in this video I'm going to talk about the two functions offset and the row. So I want that you guys should be comfortable with the offset and the row. If you don't do not know about the offset function which is a little complex in terms of understanding it but it is very much used in the dashboards summary reports of also if you're a programmer you must be knowing that we use the offset functions the VBA a lot right but anyways no worries if you do not know anything about this function what you can do is um, here in this playlist you would and check out this excel offset function and you can watch this part one and part two right because in this video i want that you should be comfortable with the offset function otherwise you can pause the video and you you can go back and first learn how to use the offset function so as far as the row function is concerned it's a very simple function uh, row actually when you write Know, this this uses the one parameter if you if you just simply press enter you would get to know the row number of your current cell where you have applied the formula now you know that i have applied the formula on the e7 and the moment i entered it, it returned seven because i'm on the seventh row right similarly uh, if you if you pass in some parameter here you don't just enter it you know as a blank maybe you select let's say this cell you press enter you got to see this one right why I'm telling you this because today we are going to learn how you can form the series of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 in, and, and you, know, you can use that series in the many functions. For example, you can use that in the mid function, large function. Well, it's not going to make sense until I you know, come to that part. So first of all, let us learn how to make the series of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and so on. So guys, uh, this is absolutely from the RS perspective. You can't use this technique in the normal functions right so we will have to use the control shift and enter right so this i have actually talked about all this in my previous video which i was telling you the basics the part number one right so now what we want to do is uh, if you know the offset then you know that from the offset we can actually we can we can make the tables right so when you use the offset if you give the reference row and the column and the height and the width and you press ctrl shift enter you get to see the table for example if i just uh, select this reference as j1 and i see that i want to start from j1 and i write here zero and zero because zero stands for the row number on the cell where you are that is always considered to be the you know the zero and the column also because i'm not going to move the column the moment i press enter i get to see his zero if i write anything here you know you get to see that value because you're on the same set starting point is j1 and from the j1 you're not moving anywhere you're on the same number same row and you're on the same column right the important part comes in the height and the width height and the width is all about the number of rows how many number of rows you have in this function right so if I just write here 5 and I write here 1, this height and width are the parameters guys which doesn't start with the 0. 5 means that you are going to include the 5 rows from your point where you, know, you are actually right now and you are right now on the J1. So from the J1 it is going to pick up the 5 rows in the downward direction and one column. The moment you press Ctrl Shift Enter because of this 5 you would get to see here when you press F9 you get to see here 5 numbers. 
or you can say five values one is j and the other four right because so don't have anything here right so if i just write here something maybe let's say i write a k and h and now if you go back and you press f9 you would get to see here you know jkh 000 right anyways that's something we do not require i can simply delete them the point is you have made actually a series you have made a series of five zeros so this height part is very much important right now why we have made the series of you know five zeros simply because i'm going to actually convert into, into a table with having the row numbers one two three four five so what i will do as i was telling you that you know when you use the row function and you go to any cell and let's say I select the C6, the moment I press enter, what will you get? You will get to see here 6. Right? So similarly, guys, now this is your table. You press F9. Now these 0, 0, 0 0s are coming from where? You know, it all coming from J1 cell. So basically, these are the cells which we are trying to cover. Let me just give them the yellow color. So if we just go ahead and use the row function here, what will be the answer? Firstly, you will get the 1, right? The moment you drag it down, you will get to see here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So just uh, using the arrays we can actually you, you know get all these row numbers in one single cell I just write the row function here and i just close this and i'm gonna press ctrl shift enter the moment i press ctrl shift enter i get to see the row numbers if i just go ahead and press f9 i get to see here one two three four five this is what exactly i was talking about you you, you can create these kind of a series you know, one two three four five this pro offset you might have seen somebody so i think you know who is uh, very much good in the arrays you might have seen they use they use it a lot and if you ever wondered why they actually you know have used what was the significance of it this is the right video for you now i know uh, just hold your questions because i know you would be very exciting to see that where exactly i'm gonna use it obviously right so I'm going to tell you that but first i hope you're comfortable with this the moment i press f2 you know f9 i get to see all the list now guys this is a very powerful thing you can't even imagine what you all you can do if you go ahead and watch my all the videos on the arrays you know how to extract the numbers from the alphanumeric or how to find the position of a last slash in your you know the text i mean there are a lot of videos i have uploaded there i think 10 11 videos i was showing you you would see there that uh, in the most of the videos we use this technology we use this actually the formula so i'm going to tell you one thing so for example i'm going to write here something for you so let's say i write here magnesium maybe a simple word right then uh, tell me one thing if i just tell you that you got to split this you know, split it into you know uh, uh, in a way that every text should be separated for example you got to see here m and then you got to see here a and b e and then n and then e what would you do guys you cannot do that using the excel formula you will have to make a loop in the vba right but this is not about the vba this is simply about the excel formulas so what will you do well uh, what you can do is maybe you can come here you can write the mid function you go in this text and you say that i got to start with the first Number as a start number, and I want one you know, character in return. Now, I hope you know that mid function. If you do not know the mid function, don't panic. Simply go to the playlist and find out there, uh, uh, you know, uh, go to the channel and find out the playlist which says that Excel text functions. I have talked about this mid function also there. Mid function basically tells us that from where to start and how many characters to return. So, I'm simply saying that start from the first of this position, which is M, and give me the one character, which means that only M right so what will happen if, if this is your number one the next time when you write the mid function here and you need the a so what you will do you will again go in the same text i'm going to select the same text and now you go in the same text but this time you will use the start number is two and then you will you say i want the character from the start position this is how you get to see here m a and so on g n e whatever it is and you can also then you know make it dynamic for example instead of this uh, one you can write here the row number of a1 because once you replace the constant with this row a1 it will be a dynamic formula you can you see you can make the use of the cell referencing because you know when i drag the formula down a1 will change to a2 and automatically your start number will be changing from one two three four five right excel is all about doing these kind of a uh, adjustments when i drag this down this what will happen uh, i got to actually freeze this h11 let me freeze the h11 there was nothing coming i got scared what draw so now you're going to drag it and you see that you get to see here mag neisa um whatever but you you see that so many cells you are using here rs is not about that 
the arrays in the single cell, you can split it. So how are you gonna make this table in a single cell? Look at this now. I've given you the normal version of this. Now I come back to the original question that how to do this with the arrays. Now guys, I use the same function called mid. I'm gonna select the same cell text. Now what would be the start number? So you can write here one, you can write here two, you can write here three. Can you write like this? One, two, three, four. And can you, uh, you know, ensure that when you press enter, mid first goes to the first character and then second character and then third, you know, and the fourth and so on. Well, using the arrows, you can do that. You no, know, one, two, three, four. We have just learned how to create it. How are you going to create it? You're going to create this row of it. Let me write the function and you're going to select any cell. Make sure you should select the, you know, cell which has a row number one. Otherwise, you will have a wrong answer you can't start it from a3 because if you're going to start from the j3 then what will happen when you're going to find the row number your row number actually will return you the numbers from the 3 4 5 6 7 and you don't need that you need the 1 2 3 4 5 and so on so you have to be on the row number one you can select any cell that's not the problem you can select h1 a1 or k1 whatever you want right so i'm going to select j1 and 0 0 because i want to be on the same set now what is the height how many times you need this one, two, three, four, five? That's an important question. Now, obviously, you would require these one, two, three, four, you know, the starting positions for the mid, as long as you're not with the last M. That means the number of characters which you have in this cell that is supposed to be you know coming here. Because then it will create a table having you know, one, two, three, four, those numbers, and then mid can work on all, all that. So I'm gonna use the length function will find the length will find the number of characters in the magnesium and then width has to be obviously one so we close this function this function returns you one two three four five six seven eight nine it should return you nine right so afterwards we uh, press you know we close the bracket and we press comma how many characters do you want i want just one character because i want to split them so you press Control shift enter Look at this you get to see here and and you know in arrays you can't see all the you know values unless you go to the equals to sign and press f9 let me press f9 there we go wow amazing you can see that i have split all the functions right so what actually is happening here if i just go to the form that i if i let me just click on the evaluate and i can show you well, this is your mid function h11 is underlined which has magnesium now this function is gonna you know, execute so the length of the h11 would come as you know, length of magnesium would be the number of characters we have and they this is called the nine right so you're gonna use this offset function from the j1 having a height of nine which means the number of rows are supposed to be nine if i just click on the evaluate let me see all right so actually evaluate formula is not able to uh, show you that but i can do one thing i can simply the function here row offset and I go to this cell, I'm gonna write here 0, 0, and I'm gonna write here the length of this. The same function I'm actually trying to show you separately. And I press Control Shift Enter. Look at this. If I go ahead and press F9, this is what you will see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Right? So what does that mean? That means now in the arrays, when you press Control Shift Enter, it have already selected the cell in the H11. So what you are doing here, what you are doing here that you are doing in the single formula because you press Control shift enter also so mid first go in the first position in the start number this function ideally this function is giving you what if i just select this cell the entire you this you know form line i press f9 let me see if i can yeah so you see that it first pick up the start number as one and then it returns the first character the result you get to see m and then it goes in the second position second start number which is a and then it returns again one and then it goes in the third start number and then again it returns one you know the another number which is alphabet g and n and e and so on so this is how guys actually get to see here this value right? once you have split this value that is another thing now what you would like to do with this you can do a lot of stuff you can actually you know find out uh, the position of some number or maybe you can 
further go ahead and count all these numbers i mean it depends upon the query to query i'm not here to talk about those things because for those i have the separate videos you can go ahead and check out right but you should understand how we are actually have done it and last which i was talking i let me just uh, talk about this again uh, because i think many of you may have been not getting what i have said now uh, let's say if i select let's say from here or maybe from here this is what i was talking about zero zero and then you're going to say that let's say you're going to give this uh, the height called uh, three okay so i just write here three and you write here width as zero what if you press ctrl shift enter so moment i'm going to press uh, ctrl shift enter first of all why are you getting the error let me press ctrl shift enter okay so you're getting something wrong here uh, j200 and uh, 3 and i'm sorry it cannot be zero because i told you that right and with always starts with one now you get to see here how many zeros obviously three zeros but the point is these zeros are coming from where these zeros are coming from here this and this and this for example if i write here a b and c you see that this will show you a b c if i just go here and click on the f9 right now the point is if we want to find the row number of these values you write the row function right press ctrl shift enter now when you press f9 you get to see here 234 this 234 you cannot use in this function right yes if you use the 234 or maybe 234 5 6 7 8 9 will never be able to get the m this m actually is coming in the first position that is why guys i said that when you use this row and the offset function of course it depends upon the requirement also but most of them but i mean you should know the concept why we are actually starting from the j1 because when you start from the j1 basically your table will move here and you know that if the row function will go ahead and take the row of the cell which is j1 it turns the one and one two three four five is what exactly you know this is a kind of a combination needed in this function right so this is how actually you can make this you can use this row offset function not only this if i just show you if i just you know with the function let me just copy this function here or maybe let me go to the another sheet so for example here I just go ahead and write some number so i write here let's say calcium uh, and then I'm going to write here magnesium. Okay, let's say I'm going to write here oxygen. I don't know why I'm actually writing all these today chemistry words, <laughs> but anyways, let's just press Control Shift Enter, and I'm going to quickly change this to A11. Obviously, I want to show you if you drag the formula, will it work or not? And please make sure that you should freeze this J1 part because when you drag it down, it will be changed to J2, J3, J4, and your again the row numbers will come incorrect. So that is something you need to take care of. So I'm going to change this to A11, A1 again. So I hope everything is looking good, neat and clean. And uh, so we have uh, all the things coming correct. This has to be A1 so we just now drag this function right so you have dragged the function i'm gonna press f9 and you see that this is how the function would look like so let me just press con just a second let me undo it actually let me go one by one so this is your ta i can remove the equals to sign this is how it looks if i just press f9 you see that they all are working guys right so i'm just trying to show you the output using the f9 so this way you can use the arrays right this is a very basic thing which you must know basically we have split them now if you have split them you can perform a lot of functions you can see that if it is a text if it is a number then do this if it is a text then do this if it is greater than 10 then do this you know there are, there are a lot of lot of combinations which you, which you can create but you can create this combination only after splitting them so that's it so, exactly i wanted to talk about on this so uh, you can go ahead and now watch all those videos on the you know the arrays which i was showing you and you would be able to understand the arrays thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe to the channel thank you so much